I've shown you how weekly planning can be very important. And today I want to talk to you about daily planning and how to go back and forth between your weekly plan and your daily plans. So stay with me. Well, hi everyone, this is Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. And today I would like to talk to you about that all-important workhorse in my planner, my weekly page, but I also want to mention to you the importance of planning on a daily basis, whether it is simply planning the next day on your weekly page or actually using a daily page, it doesn't really matter. The important thing is to sit down at the end of each day, evaluate what you've accomplished, think about what new things have come up that need to be done, and make a plan for the following day. All right, well, if that sounds interesting, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Really, that is the best way to help me and any YouTuber that you like. Remember, this is not a sponsored uh, channel. I don't take sponsorships. I don't sell anything. So any money that I make comes directly from the viewers like you and the comments and the interaction that you give my channel. So a thumbs up really helps. Leave a comment if you have something to say. Uh, leave an emoji if you can't think of something to say. A happy face is always great. I love to see smiles. Now, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the video. I want to try and keep this short today uh, because I have a lot of things to do. All right, let's go. Well, as you can see here on my screen, as I have told you guys before, the workhorse of my planner is my weekly page. And you can see it's pretty full. I've been over my weekly page many, many times, so I'm not gonna break down all of the components on here. What I really, really wanna focus on is this scheduling of things down here at the bottom. As you can see at the bottom, I have set up a place for Monday through Sunday, and then an up column, upcoming column at the end. I am somebody who likes to have a Monday start. I like my weekends grouped together, and then I like to know what might be coming forward uh, in the upcoming week. And I do add to that during the week as I go, okay? All right, so you can see I've got some top focus thing and some projects things here. Uh, that I need to work on. I have some to-do lists here um, and that kind of thing. I also have, um, you know, my household chores over here and my dinner plans and that kind of thing. So let's look at what this week might look like in laying out what I'm doing, okay? First of all, down here for Monday, I have my Monday meeting that I have every single week. That's the link for the meeting. So all I have to do is come here, click it, the Zoom meeting opens and I'm there. This week, uh, what I wanted to do during that meeting, because we're now at Wednesday, um, I wanted to go ahead and put some laundry in so that could be working while I was doing my meeting. So that's why I have laundry day underneath of that. And at the end of the meeting, I needed to do a trash run. Uh, you know, we, we live in, a, in the country and we have to take our trash to the dump. We don't have you know, the trash man that comes by to pick it up. And while I was out doing that, I need to buy, I needed to buy a gift bag and paper uh, for a baby gift for a shower that I'm going to this weekend. And I also needed to pick up some things for an appetizer for game night that we're having this Friday night, okay? So lots going on this weekend, lots to plan for, lots of fun and seeing family and friends, okay? Yesterday was kind of my chill day. It was pool time. I cleaned the pool good. I vacuumed. I put new chemicals in. I, you know, wiped everything down, did all the good pool maintenance things that you're supposed to do. And I just had some time to relax and enjoy the pool. Okay. Uh, I also wanted to photograph the quilt that I finished, the baby quilt that I finished. But as the day progressed, the thunderstorms <laughs> rolled in and the sky became very cloudy and the light in the house. I don't have direct light in this house. But I do have a lot of ambient light. So when it gets dark and cloudy, it was too dark to photograph the quilt. So I'm going to have to move that to another day. Okay. 
And so you see, I kind of lay out my big things that I need to get done. So yesterday was pool day and photographing the quilt. The big things that I needed to get done today was to pick up my um, prescription renewal and to mail the anniversary card to my sister. Tomorrow, um, I have date night and, you know, things like that to do and I have to make a chicken dip, okay? So this is kind of what it would look like if I were just using my weekly page, okay? But I like, especially on busy weeks, I like to get really specific. So let me show you yesterday's, which was Tuesday. Um, I actually ended up having a Zoom meeting that I was not expecting that kind of came off of Monday's meeting and turned into a second meeting on Tuesday where we were simply talking about homecoming. Uh, so I had to add that in here for Tuesday. Uh, this is my daily page. It is based off of the Franklin Planner page. I created this page myself. I will leave a link to a video uh, up above and in the description box if you would like to see it. Really, it's just a series of tables that I've created. And the one thing that I love about the way this is created in tables and the way that it is kind of you know, four parts, if you look at it to the page, is I can very easily look at this on my phone and, you know, see what it looks like, go in and add some things, add some notes, check on things. Um, maybe I'll put a little clip here where I can uh, show you some things from my phone screen so that you can see how well that it fits on my phone screen as well. So I do not have to be at my desktop to update my uh, daily page or my weekly page, it can be done simply right on my phone. Okay. All right. Well, let's take a look at this day and you see here, I have my priorities here, which was planning and walking. Those are always my top two priorities is, um, you know, to walk. I try to get 8,000 steps a day. Uh, so I make sure that I put that in every day. I had a prescription renewal, um, uh, that I did here, I uh, needed to call that in and uh, photographing the quilt, that didn't go so well. Um, and then the meeting that I had for Zoom, it got scheduled in here at one o'clock, okay? So you see I have that and there were things that we wanted to talk about. So I kind of gave myself a little list here of things to talk about for the homecoming church uh, event. I needed to talk about the food, the decorations, and who the guest speaker was going to be. Those were the three big things that I needed to do. And you see here uh, where it says, um, same as the service meeting, uh, that's number two. I put a note there that means number two. If you look then at my daily notes, which is right here, you will see that note number two says, decided to order chicken from Safeway for homecoming, 92525 place order. Okay. And you see that there's a checkbox there. That checkbox is one of my customized tags. Okay. All of my customized tags are listed right here. I've done videos on my tags before. Again, I'll leave those linked if you are interested. But since this was a church event, I used my church customized tag and I made note of that. Okay. Now you see that I have highlighted there 92525 place the order uh, for Safeway. Now I do not have my September set up yet. So what do I do with that information? Well, I go back to my long-term calendar and I go to September for this is the year 2025. So my 2025 calendar, I go down to September, September 25th, and I will come right in here and I will say, order chicken for homecoming okay and that will give me a reminder that i need to do that okay so now it's really in two places i have it listed as a customized tag here and i have added it to my september calendar so that i won't forget it okay now the next thing that says pastor will get the guest speaker Whew, that's off my plate. I don't have to do that. And then we decided to use the ivory tablecloths on the tables for the luncheon. And we will use like a deep coral and a brown kind of nodding toward some fall tones there for the decor. I already have those things, but again, I gave it to myself as a task. Okay. Uh, and it will come up as a task when I do my tags summary. Okay.
All right. The last thing that I needed was I need to create a sign up sheet uh, for side dishes and desserts. Okay. So that's another task that I need to do. What I might do is I might take that and copy it. Okay. And take it back to my weekly page and see down here where it says upcoming. I might put that right in there. Okay. Just to remind me as next week comes along, that's something I need to do. Just having it in an extra place uh, means that I'm not going to forget it. It's going to come up when I do my tag summary because I've given it a tag, uh, but I wanted to put it in an extra place. I think that's great. Okay. Now, uh, you see here uh, on my daily page, other than the notes, I also have a place to keep track of appointments that I have and actually how I spent my time because sometimes I'm sure if you're a retired person, you can relate. Your days just drift by and you forget what you've actually got and gotten accomplished. It's kind of nice for me to write down the things that I have actually done. Okay. One thing that I needed to get done was call in this prescription renewal. So that got a B1. That was, you know, a top priority thing. So I did that. And note number one says that my prescription will be ready tomorrow afternoon. Okay. All right, so this was Tuesday's. This was yesterday's schedule. Let's take a look at today's. This is Wednesday, okay? And on Wednesday, you can see here that I needed to pick up my prescription and shop. That is my B1 priority. Those are the things that I do right after planning and walking. And then, of course, because summer is winding down, I am trying to squeeze as much pool time as I can. So that is actually B2 for me today is to get some pool time. Okay. All right. So if you take a look at my plan for the day, I want to have breakfast with my husband, planning and walking. That's kind of the first thing in the morning. Then I want to get my pool time in again, clean it because we had storms the other day, which means a lot of dirt and debris came down. I want to get that clean, have lunch, and then I am off to pick up my prescription. Uh, and while I'm out in that direction, I will go to the post office because I have an anniversary card that I need to mail to my sister. You see here, one of my things for Wednesday was to mail the anniversary card. Okay. So Wednesday I have go to the post office, mail that card. And I also have a book that I need to mail, uh, to a previous pastor of mine. So I want to take care of both of those errands at the same time, pick up my prescriptions. Now, as I was going through the invitation for the baby shower here this weekend to see if there was anything else, I happened to find a little tiny piece of paper that was in the envelope that said, bring diapers for a diaper raffle. Well, I've already bought the present. I've already made the quilt. I don't have the diapers. So when I go to the store this afternoon, I will pick up a small pack of diapers for the diaper raffle. Um, I will get green onions and bacon bits for the um, dip that I'm making for game night and the little baby carrots to use to dip into it. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. When I go back and look at what Thursday might bring, um, I know that that's a day that I need to actually make the chicken dip that I'm taking on Friday. So you make it and it's one of those dips where the flavors need to really blend together uh, and they taste so much better the next day. So I want to make that dip on Thursday so it will be ready to go on Friday. So I'm buying the ingredients this afternoon to make the dip to serve it on Friday. Okay. So you guys see how I kind of lay out my week here on the weekly page, but then I can get down to the nitty gritty on these daily pages. I even have things for tomorrow kind of already set up things that I know that I brought forward photo, the finished baby quilt that I couldn't do yesterday. My plan is to do that uh, on Thursday. And I also want to wrap the gifts and get, you know, all of that stuff together. So I'll take care of that on Thursday. So I'm not trying to do it first thing Saturday morning as we're walking out the door. Okay. All right. Well, I just wanted to kind of show you today kind of how these weekly, you know, big range plans can be used not only for future planning, like in this upcoming section over here, but actually to take that task of 
let's say, making the dip for game night and breaking it down to when it's going to get made, when the ingredients are going to be purchased, and so on, okay? Task analysis, breaking that big task into something smaller and then planning it for those days so that you don't forget, okay? Because the worst thing that would happen to me is Friday afternoon gets here, I get out of the pool, I get my shower, I say, okay, what are we taking to game night? And I realize that I haven't made the dip or I don't have the onions that go on top or the carrots to serve it with or anything like that, okay? I, I don't like that feeling, so I would rather write down the big task, break it down into small steps, plan that out before and make sure that it's done. And then sitting down at the end of the day, uh, for example, when I looked at, you know, photo, um, photoshopping this or taking a picture of this quilt, you see I used my little uh, forwarded uh, icon there to say that it was going forward to the next, what I hope will be a sunny day, so that I can get that kind of all done on one day, okay? All right, well, let me know what you think. Do you use a weekly and a daily, or are you just a weekly planner, or are you strictly a daily planner? Um, I am realizing more and more that I really need to go ahead and set up September probably before uh, too long here because I know it's only like the 20th of August, but I've already got things that are coming in for September. So I know that I need to do that. And I can tell that because my weekly calendars are filling up and I'm able to see there's a lot of things upcoming. And if you've got kids that are going back to school or something like that, you know the avalanche of stuff is about to come as school starts. So go ahead, give yourself time now to get things set up so that you are ready and you don't miss anything. All right. All right. So let me know in the comments. Uh, are you a weekly planner, daily planner? Do you like my uh, planning combination here that I have? Leave me a comment and let me know. I really appreciate it. And until next time, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I use OneNote. Until next time. Okay. Bye.